There's not one inch of land in the United States that was not indigenous land at one time. Our people developed relationships with Mother Earth. You know, it's, it's a loving, caring relationship. One where we take care of Mother Earth and Mother Earth takes care of us. Because of these concerns about global climate change, I think there's more resonance now than there was in the past about thinking ahead over the next 100 years or the next 200 years. For tribes, they've always had to think that way. You know, they've, they've been here for hundreds of generations and they know that their children's children's children are going to be living on this land and so they need to take care of it so that it'll be here for them. The tribal elders got together and decided that they needed to begin working on reconnecting with the land. And in order to do that, they put together the Amamutsun Land Trust. And the Native Stewardship Corps is the Amamutsun Land Trust's main program to connect the tribal members, especially the tribal youth, with their cultural landscape management traditions. And we're doing our first episode of you know, uh, long duration stewardship work in Coroste Valley Cultural Preserve. And so it's a place where they can now come forever and uh, steward the lands and connect with the land. And it's a really uh, something that we're incredibly proud to be a part of. And I consider myself fortunate. Actually getting to walk my talk, getting to engage in, in cultural activities, getting to tend the land as my ancestors would have. It hits me in a spot that I uh, probably didn't expect it would, you know, but it does feel really good. Just as the Spanish said when they first came through, the landscape was open, it was dominated by native grasslands. There wasn't nearly as many shrublands or Douglas fir trees as there are now. It would have been a landscape that probably uh, supported greater numbers of animals that people would have eaten, the deer, the rabbits. And it also would have provided lots of grassland seed foods, the wild grasses and tar weeds. Those were very important foods for native people for a long time. And so now what we're doing is we're applying that research, working together with state parks, with uh, Semper Virens Fund, the Amamutsun Land Trust, and, and we're still doing research out here as well to figure out how to bring the landscape back as much as we can to what it used to be like. You know, we, we got an opportunity that, that our ancestors never did, you know. And, uh, you know, getting, getting to work with some of the great people that are helping making this happen, you know, we're some fortunate people. Uh, we're much stronger by uh, partnering and learning from each other, sharing resources and best practices and supporting each other. So this is something that uh, we're hoping will continue for decades and decades. Uh, the tribe will be coming here, the members of the public who's working with the tribe will be coming here and helping us to keep these landscapes open. Our ancestors were given the responsibility to take care of these lands by Creator. And that's just not the Amamutan perspective. Most, if not all, Native American tribes had that same obligation, that same responsibility, and the same history of having 10, 12, 14,000 years or more of, um, of experience, of practice, of, of learning how to do that. And so we need to work with them to have them restore their knowledge so they can go back and take care of Mother Earth and they're within their tribal territories. That is the only way that we're gonna restore and save Mother Earth.